Okay, so here we are. We're just going to review yesterday, Friday's in-class uh, assignment, which was to write a program using if statements uh, to ask the user for a number and then figure out if the number is odd or even and uh, write a response to the user saying uh, which it is. Okay, so I've uh, <clears throat> done things uh, a couple of different ways. So first of all, I, I declare a integer variable called number from user. That's what I'm going to use to hold the number I get from the user. Um, we've done this a few times now. I print a message asking for a number, and then I use scanf to read that number, and I put it into my variable number from user. And remember, with scanf, I have to put this ampersand in front of the variable name. Okay, so this is uh, new for some, some of you. I'm creating a variable, an integer variable called remainder. And that's the keyword int and then remainder. So I know from that that I'm creating a new variable. I'm defining an integer type variable. Uh, we've seen before that we can initialize it. I don't think I've initialized it to an expression before though. And that's what this is. This number, and then uh, modulo 2, so that means the remainder, when number from user is divided by 2, is an expression. And what C and C++ do is they calculate that expression first, and then do the assignment to the variable remainder. So that's all in one line. It's going to uh, do the division, find the remainder, and assign that remainder to my variable called remainder. And then here's my if statement. So this is a conditional execution. If remainder equals zero is true, then it's going to execute this next block of code. Um, remember, when I'm asking the question, it's two equal signs. When I'm actually doing assignment, it's one. So this, uh, this line of code here, I have one equal sign, so I'm assigning a value to the variable remainder. This line of code, this expression, is a logical expression. I have two equal signs, so that means it's the question, are these things equal? And that's going to evaluate to either true or false, or it's zero or non-zero. So uh, two equal signs, it's, the, it's comparing the left-hand side with the right-hand side, if they're equal, then it's true. If they're not, it's false. One equal sign is assignment. It's assigning the number on the right to the number on the left. Okay, so uh, I check if uh, this condition is true. So if the remainder is zero, then I print your number is even. And we know if you divide a number by two and there's no remainder, then it's an even number. So down here, I've done this a little bit differently. I'm taking advantage of the fact in C, there isn't really a, a Boolean type. There isn't really true and false. It's uh, a little bit of magic. True and false is just zero and one, or actually zero and non-zero. So anything that is zero is false, and anything that's not zero is true. And what that means is you can use um, the, uh, either integer variables or anything that's like an integer variable, including the results of expressions, as logical values. So here I'm doing, again, number from user modulo 2, so the remainder when divided by 2, the result of that expression is either going to be 1 or 0. If it's 1, then it's going to be true. So when, when this is 1, this logical condition is true and it prints your number is odd, which is exactly what we want. Now, I can do even one step more to um, make this more compact, and that is I can use an else statement. Numbers are um, either even or odd. There's no third choice. So I know that uh, if this is true, then the number is odd. If it's false, it, it must be even. And there's no other possibility. So that's an ideal case for using something called an else statement. And what that is, is uh, another 
case of conditionally executing code, and I'm just going to drag this down here um, and put it in place, and then I can get rid of all of this. So now what I'm doing is, this evaluates to true if the number is odd, and it conditionally executes this next block of code. So when the number is odd, it does that. Now what else means is if it's not true, so otherwise, do this. So if this condition is true, it executes this first block of code, and then I have this keyword else, and if this condition is not true, it executes the second block of code. So it's one or the other. It will never execute both. It always executes one of those two. So if the condition is true, we do the first block of code. Otherwise, or else, we do this other block of code. And that's our first look at uh, an else clause in an if statement, which is um, some just and another type of conditional execution that lets us um, really save writing another if statement when there's an either or kind of situation like this. Okay, that is it for yesterday's uh, in-class assignment.